and welcome back to Jazz's Angel Number Tarot. It is a different vibe over here because we are connecting to the sign of Libra for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus, wherever you have the Libra placement in your chart. Before we get started, DM my Instagram in the description below. If you'd like a private tarot reading, you can ask whatever question you want. Like this video, please subscribe to my channel and comment below what video you want to see next. So let's get right into it. Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, wherever you have the Libra placements in your chart. What is Libra going through at this time? What does Libra need to be aware of? Okay. <clears throat> See? So, so far we got listen, we got trust. Let's see if we can get a few more. So we have trust, listen, and serenity. Trust, listen, and serenity. And then we have stand your ground and synchronicity. So those are your cards. Let's get into it. Let's start with listen. Listen. <laughs> um, you have to be willing to with listen if you really want to understand someone. Now is not the time to be offering advice, but to be a compassionate listen listener. To listen carefully and intently means you pay attention, not to just what being said, but what lies beneath the words. So Libra, I feel like you're trying to figure things out at this time. Like I feel like you may be trying to understand someone better or get you know, certain answers, but you're going to have to listen to the things that people say. And this isn't even necessarily about like sitting down, having like an official formal conversation with someone. Honestly, when you're just having, you know, small talk with your love interest, with your job, you know, whenever you have a meeting with your manager about, you know, wanting to go further in your development, for an example, this is about listening to what lies beneath the words and what they're actually saying to you. You know, are they saying things like, yeah, you're a great worker, you know, we love you so much, the team wouldn't be able to survive without you, we definitely support you. Um, if you're talking about, you know, being promoted that may feel good and you may walk away that meeting thinking you got somewhere when really when you analyze it if they're saying they need you on the team so much and they're supporting you you know now that's in your current position so it's it's about just like listening paying attention to detail um also you know, as another example, just from a relationship standpoint, what are they really saying to you? What are they really saying that they want, that they need? Is that in alignment with what you want and what you need, you know? What are they really saying? So let's keep going. We have trust. While your logical mind is dictating a supposedly clear direction, your soul's inner guidance is urging you to follow an alternative path. The logical path may be one that you consider safe and more familiar, but you could be missing out on boundless opportunities and so much more. So this is definitely about trusting your intuition at this time, Libra. Trusting your intuition, tapping into your intuition, leaning into your intuition for answers, for direction. Serenity and trusting the answers that you get as well. I wanna add, if you're getting a bad vibe from someone from a job, or you're getting a vibe that's just not in alignment with what you're wanting, you know? Not everything is bad that it's in opposition of us, but um, you know, if you're not getting what you need, trusting that and making sure that that fully registers and you fully process that. The most important relationship that you can have is with yourself. This is a time to honor, nurture, and love yourself more by seeking out and removing any negative feelings and emotions that are left over from yesterday. Don't let, let past issues and resentments interfere with your serenity till today. So Libra, someone may have gotten you off your ground. You may be thinking about past situations a lot. I know I have been and a lot of the collective has been 
um, you know, doing a lot of thinking just because everything that's been kind of going on. But with the serenity energy, this is about, you know, if you're constantly thinking about something from the past, it may be for the purpose of actually breaking down and processing those emotions, the emotions that you may not have been able to break down and process whenever it happened, because maybe it was too new, maybe it still kind of affected you to the point where, you know, you weren't able to fully, fully kind of process these things. This is about going through that and, and finally starting to break down and process some of those things so that you can move beyond it um, or not allowing the things that you've been to, you know, through to affect your today. We have stand your ground. Standing your ground is an empowering confidence building action that takes um, to take from time to time. Now is the moment when you're being called to stand your ground. You need, I'm sorry, I can't read these cards today. Um, you know you can do it and now, and know that by doing so you will be the victor. So you're gonna have to stand your ground, Libra. Trust what you know, trust what you know. And I think some of you may have been avoiding standing your ground and getting mistreated as a result of that. Standing your ground um, is not something that anyone should fear or if you stand your ground and someone can't come to an understanding with you, that may not be the best person or you guys may need to work on that. But I feel like some of you guys may have been avoiding kind of standing your ground because you don't want to lose the serenity that you have with, you know, a certain person in your life. But the most important, you know, relationship is with yourself, like it said on the serenity card. So then we have synchronicity. Um, are you noticing the signs and synchronicities that the spirit world has been sending you at this time? People and situations in your life are not just appearing by coincidence. In reality, they're being guided to you from the spirit world to help you for a, a, a specific reason. So guys, have you just ran into like a childhood friend or someone you used to know? Someone that I used to know. <laughs> Sorry, but are you guys being, you know, guided to people that you haven't seen for a while? Again, very heavily thinking about people that you haven't seen for a while or heard on, heard from from a while. Those are synchronicities. Also, synchronicities can be different angel numbers or, oh, I thought of Andrew today. And then next thing you know, I'm driving on the highway and randomly I see like Andrew Law Firm. Andrew Law Firm, call now. That may be a sign to call your boy Andrew. You know what I'm saying? So... Let's see what the tarot has to say. What else is going on for Libra? Ooh, I almost wanna keep those. <laughs> I just feel guided to keep them, so I will. Okay. Let's get into these first. So we have the Six of Cups, the Two of Wands, and the Seven of Cups. So you're definitely being called to make a decision or think through something clearly. Um, you have the Seven of Cups here. So it's like, what do we want to do? Now, this doesn't have to be in terms of love, but it can be. I mean, it's the Suit of Cups, so, you know. But it's kind of like you have different options as far as what you could put your energy into at this time. And... <laughs> It's really just a matter of choosing, you know, what you want. Do you want to, you know, consistently think about, you know, someone who's hurt you? Do you want to have a conversation with someone who's hurt you? Do you want progress? Do you want them back in your life? Do you want to move towards something new? And then, you know, completely strip love away from this. Do you want to focus on a new job? Do you want to focus on healing and repairing the past? Do you want to focus on the present moment and making what you have presently, you know, work for you in a better way? Like what, what are you investing your time in? energy and your thoughts I'm I'm really getting into it's just you're being asked like what do you like write it down if you need to what do I think about the most and then when you look at that list in that very real kind of way because you wrote it all down are those healthy things or are, there, are those things that need to be addressed are those things that need your actual action behind it like time attention do we need to do something based on these things I've been investing all this energy into there's definitely a need to assess it with the Six of Cups, I just see you guys in a very giving energy, Libra, but I almost feel like that's a little counterintuitive at this time. Um, of course, you know, give when you're being guided to, and if you feel like you haven't received in a while, even if you've been giving, 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 give some more. Keep going. I know, I know. It's a matter of what you're giving to. I'm not saying give more into this relationship from this, to this, you know, ungrateful person. Give, you can, you know, 
sign up like for an organization you can sign up you know at your local library to read a book to some kids like a lot of times a, a hack to receive from the universe is to give you know so you don't have to you may you know immediately think i don't want to give to them they don't deserve it you're right true <laughs> i'm not saying give to them but um yeah i just feel like you may have been giving to the wrong place so with the two of wands, you're really being called to pay attention to where you're giving your energy um, and how it's serving you and make a decision as to what you want to put your energy into, you know? Okay. Let's see what's going on with these. Oh my goodness. We have a lot of major arcana here too. What is going on? There's a lot. There's a lot. Okay. Ooh. Got some. Okay. Let's start with these major arcanas and knock these out because there's so many life lessons you guys have been learning right now. I feel like you guys just went through, like some people call it a dark night of the soul. I feel like you guys just went through like a huge, huge, huge karmic cycle and it's like you didn't even ask for it, but it happened. <laughs> with the magician in reverse, I don't feel like you guys kind of caused this. Like I feel like someone walked into your life and they created this mess or they initiated this or even this is the universe like you're ready. And and like all of a sudden you just you one day you may have woken up like how did I even get here how did I even get to this point so now you're kind of being left to pick up the pieces um, I'm also getting the message Libra I feel like you may be attaching someone to a lesson whereas you know you may be really having a lot of hate and resentment in your heart for someone um, when really it could have been anyone it could have been anyone they were used to 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 teach you a lesson or to have you know help you through an experience like it could have been them it would have been anyone so there's a need for you libra to detach from the person associated with this karmic cycle and i know it's hard so that's all i'm going to say about that that's just going to take time there's no magic you know word i can say that's going to you know make you feel any less of how you feel but we have the tower card in reverse libra i just feel like you may be sitting in it's like you're the, like that's what i kept getting it's like you're thoughts with the tower card in reverse it's almost like you're reliving the same cycle and a lot of times people end up on that same cycle because they'll end up reaching out or they're they'll end up you know almost instead of finding the closure within themselves like getting back into a cycle with someone and it's like that was in your life for a very specific purpose to have you go through a certain experience to have you you know be taught a certain lesson but it's like libra because i see you kind of investing your your time and your mind into certain things that um you know maybe you shouldn't be it kind of puts you in this perpetual kind of tower moment and then we have the judgment and the hangman. The universe is like surrender because I'm coming through with the judgment regardless. So if you indulge in something you're not supposed to be indulged in at this time, it's just simple cause and effect. It's just simple judgment energy. You know, judgment energy is going to come through and do what's right, whatever that means for you. Whether that's positive, whether that's, you know, negative, surrender now. Um, okay, let's see what else is going on. Oh my goodness. So we got some Cancerian energy. Look at you guys here with this Queen of Cups. This um, is divine, you know, feminine energy, but we all have masculine and feminine energy. So it doesn't have anything to do with um, gender, but I feel like you guys are in a good position in terms of your heart. Now, if you know you need to do some repair on your heart, um, you know, definitely do that. But I feel like you guys are in a, a pretty good position here. And it's just like, two of cups seven of swords in reverse the people you end up in relationships with honestly they it, it just feels like they've all been karmics that's how it feels i won't say these are bad people and not everyone's a bad person just because we don't you know end up with them not everyone's a bad person just because we don't get along with them um but i just feel like these were karmic situations and with that seven of swords uh, they likely did do you dirty <laughs> okay but everyone's just trying here we're all growing we're all changing i actually posted that to my instagram story the other day um we're all just trying because i had a personal revelation where it's like okay at a certain point we're all just going through this trying to make it work. So yeah, people may mess up. Yeah, people may sit in lower vibrational energies and do something bad to you. But ultimately, we're all just trying, you know. 
King of Wands, Page of Wands in reverse. So yeah, this is definitely an ascension here. I feel like you guys have a better handle on where you want your life to go. And I feel like you've learned the lessons you were supposed to learn at this point. So let this karmic cycle go, Libra. And this doesn't, you know, necessarily mean you're having to let go of a certain person, but let go of this ill will or these negative lower vibrational thoughts or these, you know, um, uh, that pessimistic attitude towards the future, let it go. It's just not serving you. That one wants to come out too. All right, so let's see what's going on for Libra in terms of love. So we have a new love and unrequited love. Okay. <coughs> oh, we have one that fell. And worth waiting for. Let me see if any other ones want to come out. unrequited love and worth waiting for guys I mean that's literally what I was picking up on before uh, unrequited love there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going is what it says at the bottom of this card I do want to note because we did get the worth waiting for card divine timing is at work in your love life is what it says at the bottom of this card so even though we have unrequited love here um, this doesn't mean that you're like this new love is only coming from a new person it can come from someone that you do already know however because divine timing is at work they may have some stuff they have to go through or learn so that they can be in this position to provide you this new love new love could be you guys turning over a new leaf with someone that you already know i may have to close my window i think they're gonna start doing some like i think there's construction or something going on should i shut it yeah i'm gonna shut it just a second libra sorry Sorry, I just didn't want you guys to have to listen to all of that. I never work with the window open either, but I was just trying to catch a vibe. Anyways, let's get into it. So we have a new love, a new person has dirty or romantic feelings. You know, honestly, have you ever met someone from the past and it's felt like, holy cow, like you're a totally new person. Like I don't even recognize you. Like you're so different. I'm getting that kind of vibe too. For some of you, this really is a new love though. This is a whole new person, someone that you have... I mean, their earned isn't the word. Like, Libra deserves this W. Libra definitely deserves this win. <laughs> um, for some of you, because you've gone through all this karmic stuff and you're finally starting to, you know, use your mind um, in the best, the most beneficial way possible, investing your, you know, thoughts, energy, and attention to relationships that serve you or areas of your life that are serving you instead of, you know, kind of reliving this old stuff. You guys, once you make that switch that switch and that shift and just honestly off the strength of all that you've kind of been through you're gonna get your win yep we got your treasure is at hand let's see what comes out what else comes out for libra that's what i was saying like some of you guys this is literally like new love like literally <laughs> exactly what you deserve like new person Yeah, beautiful. Your treasure is at hand. What would love do? And you might not know now, but you will. Your treasure is at hand, baby. <laughs> like I was saying, you guys, you have earned this. Like this is well deserved. Like no one can, no one can fight you on this one. Like this is exactly what you deserve to get. Like I'm here for this. What would love do? Love would focus on the, you know, first of all, love is patient, love is kind with the process. So just know this is definitely worth waiting for, even though for most of you, I feel like this has been a long, long time coming here. What would love do though love would focus on the things that can allow it to grow allow it to touch other areas you know of of life so love would definitely feed energy into the areas of your life that serves you and you might not know now that you will so i mean honestly the sooner you you know kind of work on switching that mind state as best as you can like i said we are all just trying here um you know 
the sooner, essentially. But you might not know now. Maybe you don't see it now. It don't matter. You don't need to see it. It's coming regardless, you know, and it's worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work. So I'm definitely seeing a W. Definitely seeing a W for Libra. And I just feel like you guys really do deserve it. And I'm so happy for you. So let's get some advice from the spirit antibles. So we have the co-spirit, the cat spirit, and the squirrel spirit. Beautiful. Crow spirit at the bottom of this card, it says co-create with spirit. This is definitely a time to start to choose where you're, like I'm saying, I just keep getting like, there's a, there's a lot for you guys focused on mental. There's a big focus on mental for you guys. Um, Co-create with spirit. Start, you know, by doing your best as you can and then start to integrate, you know, the synchronicities, the people that are put in your life for a reason so we can get the ball rolling. Squirrel spirit, believe in yourself. Do not lose faith at this time, Libra. And then cat spirit at the bottom of this card, it says claim your independence. Independence is something to be proud of. That means that you are self-sufficient. That means that you're you know, a survivor. You're a fighter. Claim your independence as a badge of honor, not as something to be ashamed of. You know, society has taught us that, oh, if you're unmarried at a certain age or you're not in a relationship, oh, nobody wants you. That means you're undesirable. No, that's actually a distraction to get me to focus on everything. But what we should actually be focusing on, you know what I'm saying? So anyways, <laughs> that was your spread, Libra. DM my Instagram in the description below if you'd like a private tarot reading. You can ask whatever question you want, okay? Like this video, please subscribe to my channel and comment below what video you want to see next. I love you. Be careful what you wish for and I will see you in the next one.